Hey everybody, this is Robert from Kapwing. We are a free online content creation tool that lets you get all kinds of tasks done at no cost whatsoever. And today we're gonna to talk about how to use Kapwing to make custom Slack emojis. Now, Slack is a very popular business messenger. Uh, I've got it open on my computer all the time. I'm always chatting in there and uh, planning out new projects with my coworkers. But there is a fun side to Slack that I think is worth further exploration. And that is the custom emojis. Now, all kinds of businesses and workplaces have custom emojis that uh, appeal specifically to their interests. I like to put images in our custom emojis of my coworkers. I like to put pictures of apps we work with and icons that are relevant to us. And then there's always a couple inside jokes as well. So today I'm gonna show you how you can use the Kapwing free online editor to turn any image into a custom Slack emoji. Let's go into the Kapwing studio and check it out. So a quick note before we get started, where do you find the emojis in Slack and where are the custom emojis? So I'm just gonna go down here to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. I'm in a conversation with myself. This is where I test everything out after I make it. So I see right down here, there's the little emoji selector. I can click that. And then as you scroll down on the right side here, at the very bottom beneath all of the default emojis for uh, your desktop, you'll see this custom section. You can also quickly get there just by clicking the Slack logo. All of the emojis you make for your company's workspace will appear in the custom section. Now by default, all members of a Slack workspace have the ability to add new emojis to this uh, custom emoji set. But you know, you'll wanna double check with the workspace you're in, whether you're the admin or whether you're just a member, if you have that permission. So now that we know where to go to get these custom emotes, Let's go into the Kapwing editor and see how they're made. So I'm gonna start with a blank canvas here. I know that Slack prefers that uh, emojis be no larger than 128 by 128. So I'll click custom size here on the right rail and I'll change my size to 128 by 128. So now whatever we put in here is gonna be the ideal size and file size for a Slack custom emoji. I'm gonna change my background color to transparent. That's the very last option on the color picker here under background color. So you'll see this kind of classic PNG grid. And now I'm gonna bring the image in that I wanna work with. So I'm gonna do two examples today and show you the two different tools we have for removing backgrounds uh, because a lot of times you will want to have a transparent background on these custom emojis. So first I'm gonna bring in an image here of my uh, colleague Shaw. Now, it's great to have a custom emoji for each person on your team because then if somebody needs to quickly like refer to Shaw, they can just drop the Shaw uh, emoji as a response to someone else's message, kind of sending a clear message there, sort of like thumbs up in or saying ha ha in a uh, text message. So now that we've got Shaw here, I could just go ahead and publish this. That would be fine. It's, you know, 128 by 128. It fits the parameters. But I think I want to cut out the background behind him to make a transparent image of him. So, uh, you know, it's just a little higher quality. So I'm gonna click on my image of Shaw here, and then I see in the top right-hand corner, I have this erase tool. So I'm gonna click on that. Now, you have two options inside of the erase tool. There's the magic wand, and then there's the eraser. For an image like this, with a bit of a uh, few different colors going on in the background, you see there's some green, there's some stone, there's some kind of darker blues and grays. It's gonna be a little easier if I try to remove the background by using my eraser tool. So I've got my eraser tool selected. I've got a uh, you know very uh, kind of small eraser size here, and I'm just gonna slowly start making an outline around Shaw. So I'm drawing a line that goes right around him. Don't worry if it's not completely precise, because remember, this is gonna be an emoji. It's gonna be very small. People probably aren't gonna see the fine details. So I'll just continue making my way around his head here. It's okay if a little bit of hair gets cut off. Just give him a little haircut today and I drag around. Notice I'm just, I'm not too worried about how precise I'm being. As long as I don't cut into his head, this is going to be just fine. So there I'm down to his shoulder and I go back down around the edge of him and I'm done. So now I have the cutout done around Shaw. I can make my eraser size a little bigger. That's pretty big. Make it a little bigger. And then I can start to just erase all the rest of this background. I'm not going to need any of this stuff. So I'll get all of that out of there. Big eraser size. And we're almost done here. So 
keep going, keep going, and this looks pretty clean. So something that's important to note, if you do make a mistake, say you cut out right in the middle of his face or something, you can use the undo tool there in Kapoing and fix that. So it looks like the background is now gone behind Shaw. We have a great image size and I'm gonna go ahead and see what that looks like. So this is the 128 by 128. So I want Shaw to be as large as possible to take up as much space as I can in here because this is gonna be a small size. It's gonna be an emoji. So. I think that looks pretty good. He's taking up the majority of the canvas there. And I'll just change my title here to Shaw Emoji. And let's publish and see how it looks. And there it is. That is Shaw at 128 by 128. So I'll go ahead and download it here, my Shaw Emoji. Then I'll go back into Slack. And this is where I like to test the emojis that I make right in a conversation with myself. That way, if any of them are messed up or I need to make adjustments, no one else will ever see them. It'll just be, you know, in a conversation with myself. So back over here in the emoji selector, down here, you see the add emoji button right beneath the emojis. I'll click that. Gives you some uh, information about the emojis. You can add a title. I'll make this Shaw. And then we'll upload that image that we just made. So let's see, where did Shaw go? He is right here. So I will save that. And it says Shaw has been added and is ready for use. So let's test it out. I'll type Shaw in, copy paste a few of those. And it looks great. I can even use it as a reaction. So very useful. It's fun to make these for every single person on your team. Uh, it's very quick and easy. Just use that eraser tool. So let's make one more where we can use the magic wand tool as an example. So I'll open up another new project here. Uh, start with a blank canvas. I'll go 128 by 128 is my custom size. And then I will change my background to transparent again. Now this time I'm going to use the Instagram icon. This is something that uh, we use a lot uh, as a company. We post on our Instagram all the time. It's a big part of our uh, social media strategy. So, you know, it might be important to talk about what we're doing on Instagram or comment on uh, something that needs to be on Instagram. So it looks like this image that I've brought in here actually already has the background removed. So, um, you know, if I want to make, say, this white interior part uh, invisible or cut that out, I can show you how to do that. So I'll click erase and using my magic wand here, I can just select inside that area. It'll note all of the white area and I can just click remove, remove. So see, I'm just clicking inside the area that I want to uh, get rid of. And then when it's highlighted, selecting remove pixels. And there you have it. That is a completely transparent Instagram image uh, of the logo. And I will go ahead and change this to IG emoji and we will publish. And I think that looks pretty good. So I will go back into Slack now. I've downloaded my IG emoji and I will upload it. Where did it go? There it is. And for the title, I'll just put IG, very simple. Now let's check it out. And I think that looks pretty great. Now, if somebody has a photo that they've uploaded, maybe of the team that I think is great for our Instagram, I can just reply right with that IG emote. So um, these are called reactions inside of Slack. If you're unsure how to add one to someone's message, you can just see the little emoji logo next to a message, click add reaction, and they'll be right there. So very quick, very simple. You're just gonna use the background erase tools inside of the Kapwing Studio and you'll be making all kinds of Slack emojis for your workspace uh, in just a few minutes. So I, my, first, my first suggestion would be to get out there and make one for each member of your team. These are hilarious when you start really using them all the time. So another quick tutorial today. This is Robert from Kapwing. If you found this useful, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell down below. We're doing new tutorials all the time on how to do everything from the most uh, you know major and significant of tasks in Kapwing, like making a documentary, all the way down to just making some simple emojis for your Slack workspace. So follow along if uh, you plan on making more content. We will be here and we'll be doing new tutorials. Thank you so much for watching today and we'll see you next time.